the prey! Uruk's attack! These war chiefs, they've caused so much death and destruction. Scavengers are running amok, just hordes upon hordes of filthy ghouls. Filthy ghouls? I thought all of Mordor's creatures were majestic in their own way. Majestic? Ghouls? Now you stop right there, Captain. They are an aberration. Those filthy little mongrels, hiding underground with their beady eyes, gnawing and biting and scratching and... <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd have thought you'd see eye to eye with the little creatures. Are you... Are you comparing me with a ghoul? Oh, I'm glad this plague of ankle biters makes you laugh. Their numbers are growing out of control. They'll overrun all of Nurn. Well, you do have a point. So how can we curb this disease? There's only one way. 
We need to drag their vile queens from their nests and cut them down. A ghoul hive without a matron is like a meal without ale. Useless! Rustling their mounds, though. Matrons will come, I promise you. I'd have gotten burned by the Grindwalker, too. Oh, wasn't it? Then out of nowhere, the Grave Walker appears. I don't like the sound of that. Be down! Cross blades with me! Just see. <laughs> 
Covered in ghoul filth. I see now why Torvin kept his distance. Good news, Talion. You still haven't matched me for ghouls killed in a single afternoon. <laughs> for once, it is I who has come up short. I'll give you that one, Ranger. But killing this next war chief is going to be a tall order. You see, he rides upon a Graug. You'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. If these ghouls were ever to become more organized, all of Nurn would be infested in short order. So, disgusting, but impressive. I think we're ready to end this hunt. The ghoul keeper hides in an infested cave. Stalk in, steal away his pets, and kill him. 